Bang! Neves Knives, I'm Jared, and today we're gonna check out a whole bunch of knives that are all black and gray. So the only color scheme you're gonna get is black and gray, which is a super popular color um, combo when you're talking about knives. Um, a lot of people like that color, and it looks like a tool, and you know, it doesn't look like a toy. Um, in this case, we have the new Civivi Savant. It does come in multiple different options. The wood one looks really cool because it's a blacked out blade, all black out with just a wood um, inlay instead of the G10. This one's the G10 one. 14C28N, deep carry clip, nice and slim, good access to the lock bar, very smooth. Flipper deployment, and I have to say, I really like this model. Um, I've been using it, I've been testing it, I have sharpened it, um, took in a ridiculously sharp edge, but this drop point blade is such a useful blade shape. I've been carrying it around, I've been using it for all different types of tasks, and it just works really, really good. For whatever grip you want to go into, whatever type of precision cutting or regular cutting you want to do with it, it just, it excels. Um, so, Let's get to the next one. The next one, you know, leaning with that, we have the Voltec. This is also a new knife from Civivi, the Civivi Voltec. And again, multiple different versions. This one's the Black G10 version. And we have a beautiful spear pointish, somewhat drop point blade. If it'll focus. And this one's also in 14C 28M blade steel. We have a flipper and a reverse flicking fuller that works great. The detent on this is nice and crispy. Perfect detent, nice break, very clean breaking detent. And you can easily use do, do it left hand, if I can do it, left handed as well, because the G10 does cover the lock bar and you can put you know the pressure on the G10 instead of on the lock bar. But a good looking knife, and again, this one's also a very useful design. We have internal stop pins. Add a little stability, side to side, deep carry clip, good access to the lock bar, nice and smooth. Yeah, this is a good one. I, this is another one. I really like this. Next, we have the Rake M. 875TZ. This is a great knife for this video because it's all black and gray. And even like the accents with the hardware is, are blacked out. We do have this lockout mechanism right here. So you can push that up and it stops you from disengaging, disengaging the blade. So like if you were going to do a little bit heavier duty tasks and you are fearful of your lock bar slipping or disengaging, you can prevent that just by locking it. But it is a flipper knife with N690 steel, titanium frame lock, titanium milled pocket clip. The clip works great. Um, a hex head um, hardware though, not torque. And then we have a titanium backspacer. Um, the milling and it makes extremely lightweight, good access to the lock bar, drop point blade. It is a very useful knife. I do have my complaints with it. Like, um, you know, the, the detent could be tuned a little bit better, even though it does work good. I'm not saying it doesn't flip reliably, but you know, there could be jimping on the flipper tab. The flipper tab's a little slippery and I wish the detent was a little bit crisper, but other than that, I mean, it, it, it is a good EDC knife, and it looks good. It's a good-looking knife. Next, one I've been I've had on the channel quite a bit lately, guys, but it is awesome, and that is the Drop Bear by Kaiser. The Kaiser Drop Bear using the clutch lock, which works so good. The I love this knife. I really do. One, it's so ergonomic. It just works in whatever direction I want to use it. The blade shape is a um, a modified spear pointish blade. Call it a drop point. Call it what you want. But it is very good looking and it works really good. This is a blade shape that's just going to be super versatile. And with the handle and the blade combination, they complement each other really, really good. Deep carry clip that is reversible and the scales are aluminum. Them. So it has a nice metallic feel to it, nice tool-like feel, jipping all the way up the spine of the blade. You can get up nice and tight to the edge. The action is really good, and it does come in another option as well that's all blacked out with a purple thumb stud. But in this case, we're only talking about black and gray, which we have black liners and gray scales, black thumb studs and clip. Really nice, um, really good-looking knife. Next, 
the Kaiser Original. And this one, the Gun Metal. So they come in different options. This one is the original Gun Metal, which has the gray and blacked out um, hardware and scales, aluminum scales that are nice and thick and robust. These, it feels premium, it really does. Button lock action, so you have a solid detent coming from the button lock. Nice acoustics. And it's a good size for a small knife. It's not a large knife whatsoever. It is a small knife. Deep carry clip that's not reversible, but it works great. Inset with flat screws, blacked out hardware. The blade steel is 154cm, and uh, Kaiser does a pretty good job with the 154cm. But yeah, just a solid little knife. I mean, um, it, it's not big at all. It, it, you know, it's not tiny either, but it's... Uh, a good size EDC knife. I've carried um, it quite a bit. I've, I've got a couple different options. So I recently gave one away as well. Um, next. <laughs> now this one kind of brings out a little bit of weirdness. We've got to have a little bit of weirdness uh, in this video. This is the Tucson TS, what is it? The 213 in D2 steel. Stone washed clip point blade, somewhat of a trailing clip point blade, but you can see it fits this category very well with its black carbon fiber inlays on both sides, deep carry, uh, I'm sorry, not deep carry, a milled titanium pocket clip that does work pretty good. And the ergos are actually, it looks like it's a, a mess, like, you know, ergonomically wise, but when you actually put it in hand, it actually works pretty good. Um, even in the reverse grip, it works good. Pinch grips, um, you can choke up and get nice and tight to the blade. Action is a front flipper and you have the reverse flicking hole. The reverse flicking hole is a little tight because it's up at the top. You know, it feels like a reverse flicking hole should be down here, but so they have it way up top. So it is a little awkward, but you can still do it. It does still work. Um, the one thing though, is that the blade to handle ratio on this is crazy, but you know, it's something unique. Um, something that not everybody will have. You pull this out of your pocket. It is unique and eye-catching so and useful and very well done titanium um a titanium frame lock steel lock bar insert ceramic caged bearing so you know it does have all the bells and whistles and you know is a premium um type knife you know it, it doesn't have premium steel but d2 you know with uh premium handle materials next the Wii Soothsayer. Now with the Wii Soothsayer, it does come in multiple different options as well. In this case, we have the aluminum carbon fiber that just looks wicked. It looks good. It kind of adds a little pop to something that, that still looks nice and simple with its black and gray colors. Um, we do have a 20 CV blade that I did put an edge on. The edge came out ridiculously sharp. It is a bolster lock with a deep carry clip that is reversible, T8 hardware all the way around. And then we have multiple forms of deployment because we have the fuller on this um, drop point blade. Then we have the flipper. Good detent. I will say the one thing about this knife is it's extremely light. It's almost too light. Um, you know, I know, you know, weight doesn't say anything about quality or, you know, in many cases, actually, the lighter it is, sometimes the better quality. You know, they, in this case, they put a, a, a lot of work into it, uh, making it very, very light because, in my opinion, I almost wish it was a little bit heavier. But awesome, awesome knife, good looking knife. And, and yeah, I've been using it quite a bit. I've actually carried it quite a bit as well. Internal stop pins, good lockup. You know, I do have a couple little minor complaints, but but nothing that um, is too bad. Um, but anyways, great knife though. I love it. Next, the Scoria, the CJRB Scoria. Now this is an ARRPM9 steel, which is Artisan's proprietary steel. So they did invent that steel and this one took a ridiculous sharp edge i do uh um i like the steel quite a bit and this one is the black g10 one so it's got 
all black and gray. We have a titanium pivot collar, titanium thumb studs, and a titanium milled pocket clip. And then we have a couple standoffs back here, multiple forms of deployment. We have a flipper tab, which works great, great flipping action. Thumb studs are placed very nicely, nice and big, perfect for launching off of, whether you're doing a reverse flick or a thumb flick. Very thin in the hand, and I, I'll be honest, I honestly like this version better than the Micarta version. Um, I have both. I have a Micarta one and a G10 one, and the G10 one just, I like it better. The feet, I, I think it's the texture that uh, I'm... I love the texture of my card. I love the texture of my card, but for some reason, this one just feels so much better in the hand. And I, I love using this one like far, far better than I do the Micarta one for, for whatever reason. Reversible clip with the titanium mill pot clip that works great. This is a, an amazing knife, guys. It has somewhat of a, and I'm not saying there's copying done here, but somewhat of a hinder um, shape. You know, you have this nice big choil, you can choke up, beautiful drop point blade, the grinds look good, and it's super slim, lightweight, and it's just, it's a great tool, great knife, and it looks good doing it. Next, the Artisan Tylos. Now, this one is a Dylan Mallory design, and it does come in different options as well. This one's the the bolster or the black carbon fiber and it is a bolster lock with s35 vn blade steel and so i like this knife however i do have a a, a major problem with it. it not major and it's not major because i have the secondary deployment but i do not like this front flipper i i despise the front flipper on this knife i always slip off of it um the jimping is just not the kind of jimping you want to put on a front flipper and it doesn't wrap all the way around so i constantly slip off of it um i can get it but i have to really think about it and and half the time i, I slip off of it regardless i um i don't know maybe my detent is a little bit stronger than other people's but it's perfectly tuned for the reverse flick so i just reverse flick it i just kind of gave up on using the front flipper and i just reverse flick it and it works just fine but it is a smaller knife you know the length is longer than it is girthy wise if that makes sense so you know it lengthwise it's a good size knife but it is slim. You know, this tapers down smaller and you really feel that in your hand. It, it feels very small in the hand. It's not a knife that uh, that feels bigger than it is. It actually feels smaller than it actually is. Uh, but very useful little knife. And, you know, if you're in the market for um, a bolster lock that has good reverse flicking action, regardless of the front flipper, with a titanium milk pocket clip and it is bl all black and gray, looks good. And it, it is pretty fidgety as long as, you know, you're only reverse flicking it. Um, this is a good knife. It, it is a solid knife. It's very well built. Artisan did a good job with it. Dylan Mallory did a good job with the design. I just wish they would have addressed the front flipper a little bit better. Next, the Tuya Big Belly. So the Tuya Big Belly does come in multiple different options. This is the most expensive option because it is an integral. This is the first time we ever seen a integral mic or sorry integral carbon fiber handle so the entire handle is made out of one solid piece of carbon fiber however they do have some g10 models that you can get and you can get a g10 model all blacked out um with black G10, that's only like 165 bucks or something like that. With M390 steel, it has their version of a crossbar lock, which works really good. They did a great job with their crossbar lock. I don't know if it's because it's an integral, but for some reason, man, this thing is rock solid. It's like a vault. And the thumb studs are a little bit tight to the scales, but they do give you a little bit of traction. So right when you, you get your thumb to it, it's pretty easy to launch off of, whether you're doing a reverse flick or a thumb flick ergonomically it is hand melting very very good the clip doesn't get in the way um, the way these edges are, are chamfered all the way around the way this is like kind of crowned around the edges it's very 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 comfortable um, it is a big belly drop point however it still does drop point so you can still do good reverse or sorry good utility cuts um you know, opening things up and things like that just fine, even though you do have a bit of belly. So, you know, you can kind of get the best of both worlds where you're still going to be able to use your tip really good, but you can also use the belly. Reverse grips are also nice and comfortable. Um, 
access the the crossbar lock pokes out really <laughs> a lot you can see how much it pokes out which makes it very easy to manipulate in your hand so pretty cool knife i do like it quite a bit and like i said there is lots of different options with this one between the carbon fiber and then a bunch of different colors of g10 and then Last, you know what, we have two more. This one's gonna go by really quick. This is the Civivi Odium. It is a Ferrum Forge design, and you know, they have the Wii Malice and the Mini Malice button lock now. This is very similar to that, except for just a little bit smaller, and it's a liner lock. And it has multiple forms of deployment, very fidgety, very compact, very small, but you can get a full four finger grip comfortably because the scales are kind of contoured a little bit. They kind of poke out that little bit that kind of fills the hand, uh, you know, a little, you know, quite a bit uh, more than you'd expect from such a tiny knife because it is a small knife. D2 steel, drop point blade, and super snappy detent in action. Like I said, it is nice and fidgety, small and compact, deep carry clip that is reversible, and it has the black and gray. Now they do have other options with different colors, lots of different colors with this, so many different color options with this, by the way. Everything will be linked down in the description. And then last we have the Tucson TS-303 Amazon Mokhtar Design Button Lock. It is a beast of a knife. This is a large knife, thumb studs, large thumb studs, <laughs> um, that give you a fantastic place to push off when you deploy it because it is a thumb stud only knife but i mean you could push the button and swing it out but as far as deployments go the thumb studs are the only deployment but they work really really good detent is nice and strong on it nice snap to it especially being as big as it is but extremely drop shutty with its button lock action it does have ceramic caged bearings and it has a bolster look it's not technically a bolster lock because it's a button lock but you can see the bolsters popping out that are titanium then we have beautiful carbon fiber tucson does a good job with their carbon fiber and then we have a titanium milled pocket clip big drop point blade and 14c or no sorry this one's m390 I don't know why I thought it was 14C for a second. M390 steel, so hey, even better. Um, good geometry on this, by the way. Very, very slicey. Not a super stout, thick blade, but it, it, you know it, it's broad, and it gets down really thin behind the edge. Probably, if I had to guess, probably about 15, 16, 17 thousandths behind the edge. So it's tough enough for the tougher tasks, but thin enough to be a great slicer. Ergonomically, it is great. You have a choke up spot, very neutral ergos. The button does protrude up quite a bit though. So in the reverse grip, you can actually push it a little bit, but you can also avoid it too, you know? So, um, you know, as long as you know that it's there, you're gonna avoid it. But in regular grips pushing forward, you're, there's no worry um, of pushing it. But awesome knife and awesome list of knives that are all black and gray. I love you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Peace.